Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic that is about application of integration. So now I want to show you how to answer. There is a light through the origin that divides the region bounded by the parabola. This is about the function in here. And the s axis into two regions with equal area. What is the slope of that line? So now I want to show you how to answer. The first thing, we need to draw this function in here. That should be like this. Now, we have the line that go to the origin. That means we have the line in here. So they, they need to divide this area in here into two regions with equal area in here. The first one and the second one. So we know that this line they go to about origin. That means we have y equals to as. So we need to find the slope that is about 8. Now we have the region number 1. So I will highlight the color in here. And the region number 2 that is about this one. So Let's say the intersection between the line and the curl in here, we have number 0. And the second one, that is about B, we don't know yet. Now, we need to set up about the integration. So about the ring one, we have the integration from 0 to B. The first thing to find the area of this wind in here, uh, this green in here, we need to use about the upper function minus the lower function. So, the upper function that is about the curve in here, the lower function that is about the line in here. So, we need to put about a s minus. 5s square minus to the line that is about 8s we know that they divide two regions with equal area so this one equals to the area of the purple in here so we have the integration from 0 to b from 0 to b that is about the line so that is about a s d s and the next one from b to this intersection in here so we put a s minus 5 s square equals to number zero so we need to find the solution of this one and we have s equals to number zero and s equals to eight over five That means this ball in here, that is about 8 over 5. So we have the integration from B to 8 over 5. And that is about this one in here. Now we need to do this integration. The integration of s, we have s square over 2. The next one, we have negative 5s to the power of 3 over 3. The next one, that is about a s square over number 2. And we put the bounds from 0 to b. This one, we have 
as well or for number two and we put the bounds from zero to b and the next one we do the same Now I will put B cone here, number zero cone here, similar for the second one, and the last one in here. So if we simplify and we have like this, And this one too. And this one. So after we calculate this one, so I will put this one go to the left and they should be like this. So we divide both sides by number 2. That is about 128 over 75. Now, if we look carefully about this one, that is about the result of this integration in here that means the area of the ring and the purple we have 128 over 75 now let's go to the next one we know that y equals to a s and y equals to a s minus 5 s where they have the intersection at b so that means we need to use about the intersection in here. So because B, that is about the solution of Y equals to AS minus 5S square and Y equals to AS. So we can put about B go for S. Now, if we look carefully about this equation, we have AB in here, we have AB, so we change AB into AB minus 5B square. So we will have AB minus 5b square multiplied by b so we simplify this one and we have 5 over 6 b to the power of 3 equals to 128 over 75 so we have b to the power of 3 so we divide both sides by 5 over 6. 
and that is about 256 over 125 later that we put about the cube root for the both side and we have one point twenty six nine nine so something like this and now after we have this one we can find the value of eight so we divide both sides by b and now we need to put the value of b gone here so we have one point sixty five and that is the final answer this is the end thank you for watching